Hello everybody from the internet, Joe Wendell here with JLW Games coming at you with another Theme Park Studio video, but this time we're going to go get some custom scenery. This is a video on how to import custom scenery into Theme Park Studio. Uh, we're going to go ahead and download some custom scenery, so let's go ahead. All these links to these sites, the site will be in the description, so you're going to want to go ahead and go to Google and type custom scenery depot let's go ahead and click the top link and we're gonna go here and there's three categories roller coaster tycoon 3 theme park studio and no limits 2 obviously we want theme park studio not many files available yet for it but we're gonna go ahead and download some so if you go here uh, if I go back one more page there's two different uh, categories custom scenery and misc and you Utilities, but we want to go with custom scenery and there's about eight different sets at the moment uh, That have been posted you can also create your own if you want but at the moment I don't know how to do that, but I will learn myself here pretty soon. So uh, We're gonna go ahead and go ahead and download these by clicking the name and click download make sure you have WinRAR so you can extract the zip files because they come in zip files so you want to go ahead and download that and after that you I have them all here on my desktop yes I am a Kansas City Chiefs fan sorry sorry if you don't like that but <laughs> alright we're go ahead and extract one of these extract here uh, like shy guy rock set there's usually a readme not all of them do have them but I will show you what to do so what you're going to do, this is the main place where you're going to put them at. Go to Windows, Program Files, and go down to Steam. If I can find it, there it is. Then go to Steam Apps. Then go to Common, Theme Park Studio, and go, of course, to Custom. Now go down to Build Sets, and you're going to want to post or place or paste wherever uh, you're gonna want to po paste it and here and build sets one uh, as you can see these are all the ones I have so far now some of these are a little different like the rock set uh, go ahead and open the rock set in the desktop before you post it this has two different sets pretty much it has custom textures and the regular rock set. You're gonna want to cop or cut this folder and put it in the build set. You're gonna want to cut it and paste this one, the textures, into something completely different. You're gonna want to instead of going to build sets, you're gonna want to put that in materials, material one. And you see, I have it right there. So, and then make sure every t single one that you have put in here when you open the folder that you have the original or you have the files that are going to be the 3D models placed as you can see they're all right there so you want to make sure that's in the very next folder on these otherwise it may or may not work I'm not entirely sure so let's get out of that that's how you import it. Now, to make sure it works, we're going to have to open Theme Park Studio, which I already had it opened. Uh, get that rid of that. And here we are in Theme Park Studio. Now, what you're going to do is go ahead and click off on, of course, Custom Scenery. The Custom Scenery button and go to Build Sets 1. What the heck? It's not in here. What do you do? Well, you have to click the custom scenery button of course custom libraries and you're now this came up for me and I'm like where is everything well there's a drop down menu here where you click on your custom scenery say I want to do Hollywood letters here they are let's go ahead and add a support yes create custom scenery let's go ahead and place it alright and because I want these linked, I will stay on scenery number one and get a T here or something. This is so I can move them together. 
of some sort. Like, there you go. Now that I have that together, the support and the T are linked together and they move together. That's because they're the same part of the same scenery object. Now, say I want to go to the rock set. Yes. If you want to have separate rocks, say this is a rock, I don't want it linked with another one, which means if you texture it, it's going to texture this one as well. So if you want to avoid that and have different textures or something and you don't want them linked, click on the drop down and click add scenery. And that makes these two rocks separate from each other. And the cool thing about Theme Park Studio is you can texture any of these custom scenery objects the way you want them. So I'm going to go here cross bump and texture this T because I want to and I haven't bolted it so it moved <clears throat> so you can texturize anything you want and also if you have custom textures go to where I uh, post or pasted that one folder and <clears throat> I posted it under material one custom libraries and here's my custom uh, textures for the rocks right there and you can actually use these on anything you want as well so that's pretty awesome <clears throat> but that's pretty much it for custom scenery when downloading them from online uh, I hope you guys found this video useful and if not I am you know send me a message uh, what you're confused on if you have any questions please let me know and I will try to help you out as best I can if you are having issues uh, with this so I want to thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys have a great day and an even greater tomorrow goodbye